it's a core of three that have been together for over four years now, right? Caserato, uh, Yuri, and Art, they need no introduction. Then you add in this flare of drop, you know, from the academy squad, his second major, one where he's trying to uh, to make his name known, and then safe in as the new boy on the block, the hotshot Orpa that was finally meant to fill the boots of Henny, and we have him on stage in a major quarterfinal. Let's get into this one. Furia taking on Team Spirit. Vertigo, where we start, Ancient and Mirage to close. It's going to be a brawl. No one is safe. Spirit have gone further and higher than any expectation of them, but Furia are just getting warmed up. We're into the pistol round. It's T-side Spirit. It's a fast B play. Called off immediately, and Furia get flashed in. Yeah, getting a little bit weird with him, man. Art wants to fight first, wants to be up in their face. and Oh, he's in the smoke out behind them. Only good for one. Patsy and Magix, they're going to break the silence first here. This b side still has resistance, but it's gone in an instant. Patsy oh. in with all the kills. Three to open up on the big stage. And this is the guy that we have questions for. 18 years of age. We don't know if he's ready for the stage, but three kills in the pistol round coming through big. That's certainly a starter. This is the guy who has second highest conversion rate in opening kills. Only guy above him is Rain. One of the most solid players, one of the most old school players who has been on this stage many a time. Patsy, the nerves aren't there yet. Yeah, it's a good opening, right? It's going to inspire a lot of confidence. Pistol round now in the bag for Team Spirit. A lean in towards this B site again. As they move in, Caserato is concealed in the back, right? Waiting. Art dead. Fast flank already removed. And it looks like Spirit are on path here to get through this one with ease. Keep it nice and clean. Yeah, from the front to the back, Art immediately flanking. And Patsy's still ready for it. Spirit won't take any casualties in this round. Two CTs left up with nothing to play with. And Spirit keep it clean right now. I can't believe how many youngsters we have in the server at the moment. And all of them starting strong, at least for Patsy. Dex is going to close. Spirit go 2-0. It's a good start here. Team Spirit doing good on the conversions. This is where things get a little trickier, though, right? This is where the big guns are looking to come out for Furia. Yeah, such an interesting veto as well. With Nuke not getting picked, you'd expect Spirit had done a lot of prep for Ancient, a lot of prep for Furia after solid wins over Danes back in the Legend stage. But this one should not be easy. This is a, a home map for Furia. They killed rosters on Vertigo before. Gun round is out. Spirit, they lean back to that A site. It's Patsy causing a ruckus. Here's something you might see a few times from Art over the course of this map, right? He's got the MP9, pulling it out, taking it aggro down towards the base of ramp, but that's not where the hit's coming in. It's over here in middle. Spirit towing this line, but doubled up. Drops here with a teammate alongside him. He's good for the opener. Needs to follow up with a bit more. Safe is meant to bail this out, but the Molly's forced to reposition. He goes one for one and then doubles up. Brilliant stuff for Safe. Keeps it in the advantage of Furia. Team Spirit back to the drawing board now. Patsy and Magic still alive here. And they're looking to get into this B site all over again. Yeah, really nice angle for Caserato with the boost up. It should find him on default if he uncrouches. If he peeks a little bit wider, Caserato is patient. And Magic has to jump. Caserato swings at the perfect time. Patsy now. All right, bud. 6 and 0, 1v3. What have you got? I mean, everyone's been talking about this guy. Let's see if this is the reason why, right? Oh, oh. dead right away. Caserato, little pixel angle on the cross, and he will deliver. Furia immediately on the board. The guns come out, and they see it through. Yeah, they stay calm. They don't get stressed early, and I still think that's a big question mark for Furia, right? We talk about Spirit not having that stage experience on four out of five players, but Furia haven't been in these high-pressure scenarios either, not often. Sure, top eight last time back in Stockholm, but they didn't last more than two maps. Furia, favorites now, coming in with a big buy. It's Spirit who are broke. Yeah, now the shoe's on the other foot. You know that Patsy wants to get involved early, right? So he's been given this hero gun, but already bought down low. The spam is good out of the Furia squad. Spirit going back into middle. They've loved it here. They're going to try their hand at one of these mid to B splits by the looks of things. It feels like that is the weakness they're trying to exploit early on in this game. 
Furia, one step ahead, already pulling bodies around. They pushed a ramp. They know that this side of the map was looking clear. Ooh. And so right now, a pretty good picture as to where this one's hoping to end up. Wrapping CT, drop, will hold the line. Siren doesn't get up and past him. Dexter's now been spotted. This is getting dire for oh. Spirit, and Dexter tries. He might to dig themselves out of this hole. It's all left on to Patsy. He could plant. He could just go right back and stick that bomb down on the ground. But 60 seconds, Patsy wants more. He wants to hunt these kids ahead of the curb. Furia don't know he's in position, but they are playing very patient, expecting this aggression from Patsy, and you kind of have to. Up he jumps, in he goes, but down he falls. Yuri's holding on. Furia give him nothing, no bomb plant allowed either. And now it is back to the drawing board, back to Eco. Yeah, as we headed into this, right, uh, the, the desk comment on it as well. We saw Drop giving a rousing speech down the line. I think that's Insane. that's pretty mental, isn't yeah. it, right? It's his second major. It's uh, it's him trying to pump the squad up. You always assume that's going to go the way of someone like Art as really the front man, as the IGL of this team. But the fact that Drop wanted to do it, I can imagine that's inspired Art. Spirit just taking a full eco now, right? It's all they've got left in the tank. So they're just going to have to wait for these guns to come out in the next. They have been the smoke, but good flashes set sa uh, safe up for the opener. No one's going to get cheeky in this round. Spirit have to concede. It's only Glocks and P250s. Even casualties would be a bit of an overstep for Furia. And despite being a, a very aggressive CT-sided team, where we've already seen them drop ladder in round two, already seen them push up on the A site. In rounds like these, Furia don't make those basic mistakes. They hold on. Late. They let the pistols come to them, and Caserato's doing exactly that. There's the mow down. Dexter just looking for damage here, right? What else can he do? 1v5 turn to a 1v4. And if he can take, you know, one more player out of the round, that's a win in Spirit's book. However, Furia goes swinging him together. So there's that 3 2. This is where things are going to get exciting, right? This reinvestment looking to come down the pipeline for Spirit. Still aren't going to have that AWP in Dexter's hands just yet. For me, that's something that could be a turning point here, but it will be delayed for now. Yeah, this is a true test of tier, uh, Spirit's T sides, right? They have been the weaker sides in this tournament for Spirit. Despite this uh, great entry power and a really strong orbit that we always talk about in Dexter, more often than not, 70% of their CT rounds are the ones uh, that they are converting. They're going to have to pull out something massive here to stop the steamroll from building up. Furia taking full ramp. Art is so confident, so aggressive, and with supporting flashes, he pushes right down again. Spirit are holding on for this play. But it is only one man after all. Drop's been able to hold the line a few times over here in middle. They're starting to come around the corner with that flash. That's the go button and Drop is out on an island. That early man advantage taken for Spirit. They've got this real estate in mid. This is much better than what we're used to seeing normally. Drop goes one for one here, and it's left a big void over towards that B side of the map. Now, if you look at Art on the minimap, this guy's gone all the way down A ramp, has beat the timing on Dexter, who right now thinks he's holding for aggression. Art's ahead of him. Chopper had no idea. Inside of the B site, a completely different fight's going down, and this one is for that bomb plant. Art is wrapped, what? and Spirit are back on the board. Blink and you miss it. That round goes three on three to just everyone dead instantly. Art flanks on flanks, and when you're beating him to the punch, you know you've got something to say. Those two young'uns on the B site put up a kill each, and Spirit go through with a T side round. Nice gap found on B as well. Already we're seeing a lot of B aggression, a lot of these mid to Bs that you've already been talking about, not falling back into the typical tendency that is just taking that slow ramp control, playing very, very safe, waiting till those last second smoke walls on that A site. We've even got the AWP out now, seven rounds deep, the first big green, it's in the hands of safe, stuck in middle, spirit contact yet again, but this could be their undoing. Yeah, Orp's going to make contact over here in mid. Safe, here's your chance, oh. but oh, it's clean open up for Dexter. Drop holds the line, doing damage, but it's only one kill out of him. Middle's been tested again. This time, Spirit, though, they are going to start to just seep on back from there. Look to group, look to move in together. This B Lurk getting dropped away. Magix doesn't want to get caught extending here on the numbers alone. This is looking good for Spirit. So a moment of poise, a moment of composure here. Now they group for this B hit. 
That smoke down, gonna slow it for a moment, but Fury have up and left the B-bomb site. There is nobody here right now, and so Spirit, they're gonna go walking into an entirely empty bomb site. That's gonna tee them up for a round. Suddenly, you're looking at Caserato over in middle, and if he doesn't rotate in and go absolutely huge, this one will sail by Fury. Yeah, the save meta continues, or does Furia not want to buy in? Caserato's pushed through, he's on the edge of the smoke, but Spirit have got the numbers, they just flash through. No part today, Magic stops it though, blinded doesn't matter, takes a bite out of Caserato, and Furia still don't want to give it up, but the orb's out, Yuri's in with a kill, plants it dead, Magic's up close, there's the swing, even though Yuri predicts it, he's not going to be able to put a stop, and that's exactly what Art's up to, out of the round with the orb, Spirit take four. Right now, this T-side is brutal for Spirit. And Chopper may be yet to frag, but if anything, that's a, a sign that the plan's going well. When this guy's performing, it's often at, you know, the, the, the downfall of the rest of his team. Spirit do their best work when the in-game lead is going in first, getting traded, setting them up. I mean, the one game in this major that Chopper's even gone positive was, uh, you know, the one they, they lost, right? It showed the stars weren't sh shining, and right now they are. I mean, it's clear that Spirit have done their homework, right? They've got a game plan. It's, it's no, you know, there's rhyme and reason behind why this has ended towards that B side of the map so often. It's clear they feel that they've found a weakness there. So the, uh, the question is now poised to Fury. How do you go about answering that, right? How do you put a stop to this kind of pocket strat of just working the mid control into these late B hits? How do you deal with that? Because Art's been getting down ramp. He's been hitting his usual timings and it hasn't been enough to save Fury. Yeah, in that next gun round, I'd love to see something like Copenhagen Flames often do, which is those flash peaks on the B-word, right? You jump up, you get a flash in. Right now, it's an A attack. It's a speedy one at that. Art's up close, but he's only good for one. And with a hero gun, with all the fury I had in this round, that is a perfect trade for Spirit. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, that's the big ticket item removed, right? And there's no getting that back if you're Fury. They're gonna flash back in, try to fight for ramp, but they are gonna get churned up by the AKs. Dexter Ooh. running in, leading that charge in with a double. The pistol's getting melted, and any hope of doing it here is out the window for Fury. A spirit. They do deal with that A play. They pull it out when they know an eco's coming in. That's a 180 hour and last two weeks spray from Dexter. Right? He is feeling the game right now. This guy has been grinding. That's only over 10 hours a day, Harry. Every day. Dexter doesn't stop. You gotta admire the dedication. We saw him in the interview after they made it to the playoffs talking about this, talking about the road and the work that Spirit have been putting in. That much is clear and it's shown in the veto as well. Even having the balls to go away from Nuke, a map you already beat Fury on in a best of one and take it to Ancient shows a level of preparation that maybe Fury weren't expecting. It almost makes their map pick a guarantee, a must have. And right now Spirit are putting that to the test. Yeah, I mean, you know, the desk even kind of poised this one as, as, as a very, very safe matchup for Fury on Vertigo. And yet here we are. Things getting a little bit scary. Not had many ops in play either, right? Safe have one in middle, got shut out early. Spirit have had the chance to get theirs in. They have no interest. Flat rifles, knowing at any point Fury can get aggressive. They can run through your smokes. They can flash peek your B site. One way down on ramp, but Fury are fighting in front. I mean, dude, this Art and Yuri hold over towards ramp is, is normally just a cornerstone of the defense for Fury. And the fact that in these rifle rounds it's getting hard avoided is a big problem. By the time they're getting the info that it's destined to be a B play, normally it's too little, too late. Caserato is trying to mix things up with this push down at the B ramp. But once again, mid's getting taken. So Caserato, oh, no. he needs to go big here. Oh, oh the timing on that smoke pull. And Spirit are out in middle, running amok. Safe now, dead in rotation. Yuri, it's not safe. CT is not yours anymore. And Siren, gonna deal with him. Drop tries to come back in to fill this void, but he's gone after one. Spirit reading them like a book, and it's Dexter taking it all the way home. Oh, this has to feel so good for Spirit, right? Youngsters get it done again, and Dexter's at the forefront of it. This is the youngest team in the top 30 of Counter-Strike right now. You would not be hard-pressed to expect them to fall on a stage like this, when the fans are cheering for Furia, when the pressure's on your shoulders, but right now it's only building spirit up.
10 and 5 for Dexter. We've not really had anyone saving Furia. Case has got good numbers, but he got a mow down against Glocks. Drop's been the one guy throwing himself into a lot of gunfights. We saw that emotional speech before the map, trying to hype up his team. They need it now more than ever. Broken by another opener. Drop will trade, but is there anything else for Furia? Oh no, his smoke sails through, so he's going to burn out. That's a disaster. Case Serato with the Deagle. Only man inside of the B site. Gonna have to do all the difference making with this gun. Deagle swinging out, but he's low on health. Flashed off the angle. He is stuck here. Oh, and there's the execution. Siren gets rid of him. And even though they've still got to get past Yuri, they are not disturbed. They're still willing to press ahead with this B play into the lone man for Furia. He's done damage with the Deeg. He's given himself a chance, but Patsy's going to take it over the line. And that's five in a row now for Spirit. They are burning built up and looking excellent on the T side. This creates a lot of worry, Harry. It's CT sides, like I said, that's where Spirit do their best work. Fury have had so many problems containing these B hits. We haven't even seen a standard smoke wall on A. This is Vertigo after all. It's all about the util game. It's all about burning out planters on that A bomb site, wall banging with the orb. Safe's not had a chance to run his. And this round's no exception yet again. Back to flat rifles. Dex has finally pulled his in. He's gonna finally go for a more standard round here for Spirit. Quick peek, almost gets caught. Flash is good or bad, depending on who threw it. It's gonna be Siren overwhelmed at the top of ramp. And Spirit finally show why they've been abusing this B bomb site. That Yuri Art combo on A is solid yet again. That's all Fury are wanted, man. They Ooh. wanted you to come test them over towards A. Still, Spirit are not out of the round yet. A 3v4 as it all goes silent, all goes quiet. Fury await with their resources spread thin. And Molly's gone a little wide, so right now you're good to stay alive here. Yuri could just keep waiting in behind the sandbags. Now, if they assume that that Molly would have pushed him out, they're in oh. for a harsh awakening. They don't. The nade gonna get rid of him. Art's now got to do it all alone. They are coming his way. He's essentially in a 1v3. This has got to be something out of this world. Ah, oh, dead immediately. Wow. Magic's with the orbs gonna mop him up. Even though Safe comes rotating in, he's out on an island all alone, fighting back, and he's good for that first kill. Bomb plant for Chopper, and a 1v2 to navigate. Here's oh. Safe burning, and so he'll knock him out. Fake. Drop left to beat, he's faked the run back to Shaw, and oh. there's the re-swing. Drop nails it, gives him a chance in the 1v1, and he'll take it all the way to the bank. Finally, it's a new boy's spirit to get it done, right? Drop, save, these guys hold strong on A. And that was a three on five, the spirit almost made happen right late into that A recommit. These guys are fighting tooth and nail for every single round right now, and Furia only just put out the fire. Oh, I mean, dude, you can see why they want to abuse the B site, right? I mean, they try to go A that one time, they try to test the waters there. And it does get dealt with. That's Furia back on the board. Is that the second win they're hoping for? It's just so expensive, right? You finally went around. You finally get a rifle around under your butt, a belt, but it's four players dying. You don't even get that AWP into the next. Furia, they don't get a chance to re uh, relax. They have to keep the pressure on, and hey, Art's good at that. Close on the short side, man. Almost got spammed out there. Still spirit. They might be showing all this attention to the ramp side, but that's not where the bulk of this hit is coming in. It's designed to just keep Furia occupied, keep them busy. Well, this real hit, this B lean from middle again is concealed. Fury have doubled up here once more, safe behind the sandbags. He's going to need to oh. do something. Does oh. find the double. Safe's dealt with the midside. Case Serato out on an island of B getting pressured. They're up through the ramp. Oh, Ooh. he's going to hold the line with a double. Drop swings in and saves the day. It's the drop safe show right now, Harry. Not the guys that we always expect to stand up. Drop with a pretty quiet performance so far these last few games. But no better time to perform. Double up in mid every single round, it feels like. Spirit, they're finally getting worked out. They're finally getting red. A flawless round for Furia gives them a bit of a bank account to fall back on. Spirit, they're running dry on theirs. They need to build back in as well. Keep that pressure on Patsy. Chopper running it up mid. Pace change now for Spirit. Yeah, this is a real change of pace. Safe! How? Going to hold the line with two. They try to go fast out mid. 
But they go running into a very safe pair of hands indeed. And down oh. now, okay, Serato, they are moving up into his bomb site. He's got to stake his claim. Oh, it's a fake again. Going to drop on out of there. Right now, Patsy is the trigger man, the one trying to get this all going. Oh, and he's quiet on this. Yuri's holding four, and Yuri's oh, ready. Good save. And Patsy thought he found all the room. That's a grim reminder. They don't have as much room as they oh, think they do. What? Oh, it's going to wide swing in middle with that MP9. And Safuria, this is teed up for a six. They're closing that gap. Finally waking up, about time. I was getting a little worried about the longevity of the series, but Furia don't want to fall quiet. Magic's now the world is, is his oyster. Everywhere in the map open, Furia are tucked into their bomb sites. Art's playing for information, but he's got two things to watch. Is Magic even going to go for this? Flowing around middle, he looks kind of interested. Just waiting to see if Furia give him anything, give him a reason to want to go for it. And someone might, I mean, Furia, they do love going for these pushes, man. They love getting stuck in. But right now, it does feel like Magic's just having to respect this one, give Furia their room. This is a sixth on the board for the Brazilian squad. Now one away from tying this up. Spirit, they might have got off to a hot start, but the times they are are changing, the tides are changing. And it's starting to go back the other way. Furia, they had to figure out this mid to B problem. They had to figure out how to deal with these, uh, these splits. And it feels like they've come up with their solution. Yeah, still it's a great T side for Spirit. They're not going to be turning their nose up at seven anyway. They're just going to try and call out a little pause near the end of the half. Fight for a couple more. Another broken by. And a warmed up Furia raring to go. You know, considering we've had safe and drop be the heavy men, be the big powerhouses of Furia so far. We're still waiting for the guys that we know and love. Yuri and Kesarato, the two best or two of the best clutches at this entire event with 11 combined coming into this matchup. There's still time for them to awaken as well. I mean, this little drop safe combo over in the middle has been great. And, you know, when you're shutting down Patsy, trying to find those little gaps, those spaces to open up over towards the A side, that's got to feel good, right? Yuri's been a real rock in these last couple of rounds over towards that side of the map. Yeah, Patsy's doing his defaulting again. It's been the same thing every round, right? Dropping that close nap and he smoke, faking it out, throwing you to up the top of ramp, keeping Furia here. And you never know when the full commit is coming, but it's not this time. Again, it's that contact, that dry walk out mid into the double setup that has so often given us multi-kills for save. Will Deja Vu strike again? Oh, Spirit want to try and deal with this double mid setup. They want to try and flush it out safe. What's his response going to be? They challenged his teammate and now he's getting aggressive. He wants to try and fight for this. And right now he's got the info. They're not creeping out middle just yet. He's got Ooh. that first engagement. They weren't ready for it. Chance at the wow. trade, but it doesn't go their way. Safe doubles up. And a five on three, Furia. They just need to walk this one over the line and they've well and truly recovered Ooh. this first half. But that's easier said than done. Magix gets one out of the ranks over towards that B bomb site. You kind of got to go back to A now, right? Surely, but no Util, no chance. Art, he plays it like he's got the orb, sitting in the middle of the open. On off angles, Magix will clear it. It's a lovely headshot. He's opened up both bomb sites right now. That's massive info for Furia. They know this guy's rotated out. They should be able to make a good read. Yuri's going to give it up fully because the health isn't really there on two of these three players for Furia. They can't stop a bomb plant. They've got to fight for the site. Yuri would rather play the info game with no util the other way. Spirit walk in. 15 seconds, the read is there. Everyone's here, but that's not going to make it that much easier. Still low on health. Going to try and swing this one together. Magix will go out. Nice. And Chopper, as he attempts to trade, that is churned up. Furia, they will tie this game up at 7 all. Art's often the guy we expect at the forefront of these opening fights, and fair enough, he is 3-1 and one right now, but Safe is really joining the ranks. He's 4-1, and one, and so many of those, those four opening kills have come with two, have come with a couple, double up in middle, and to think that he hasn't even used that orb. He had it one CT round, and he died to Dexter in middle. 
Fury, the whole point of bringing Safe into this team was to finally free up Art to get back to what he knows and loves, being that aggressive nuisance on CT sides especially. Now finally Fury, they've crowdfunded, they've put all their pennies together and they've got the double orb. Last round of the half, first time we get to see it, and it's all being bought into a B-Rush round. Might not be ideal if it comes down to the retake, right? You've lost that first man. Oh. Kei Serato's naded out. Safe here with his AWP. Good for the first. And now it starts to draw to a bit of silence. Slows down just for a moment. Do they want to go back? Do they want to try their hand? At clearing this flank. That's easier said than done versus Furia. Art in mid. Yeah. They learn about that double orb the hard way. And so it's just Magic's left. If Can't he save could, here. he would save, but it's not an option now. Round 15, he's going for it, nope. and he's going to walk into Yuri. We'll check for it, but that doesn't make it any easier. And so Furia, they go on to 8-7 that first half, from dire straits to a streak of their own. That's got to feel fantastic. 7-3 up for one point for Spirit. This T-side was coming together, but Furia, they hold on. And they want to make this a competitive series. Yeah, hey, they're favorites after all, but that's only because we're, again, underestimating spirit. And that's been a mistake for many a team right now. The only guys to even take them out were NIP. Or G2, rather, in that overtime BO1. Everyone else has fallen at the hands of Chopper and friends. And now, where spirit do their best work, that CT side. You think you saw fast T rounds? You think you saw quick mid to Bs? Check this pistol for Furia. Yeah, let's see what they've cooked up, man. Art's always there brewing something wild. Let's see. It's out into middle. All five just in a line. Going to try and run it down. They do have Chopper here, but he's dinked right away. That's going to demand a bit of respect out of him. They're spilling over into the B site. Siren, good Ooh. for the first, but he's traded immediately after. It's an outspirit are on for a retake. Not what they wanted, not ideal, but they're going to give it a go. They need to try and flush out Keiserato over here in mid. It might be easier said than done. Smoke in the way right now. Each second they spend on oh. Keiserato is a second wasted in the retake. Wow. They try to go oh. in. Art will deal with that first man, but there's more where that came from. They go back, they flush out the mid player. And now they've got to fight forward. Now they've got to try oh. to blitz a way in. There's that first man falling. This crossfire is big. And oh, what? Drop! They line up. I don't think he realized it. He didn't even mean to kill the back man. But two shots for drop and two headshots come flying through. That is one way to steal the pistol away. Felt like Art oh, almost gave Spirit a, uh, you know, an option back into that round with that push up in the 3v3. Never knows when to quit, does he? But look at that double up. Furia find it, and big smiles on the young guy. Nine rounds to seven now, Furia keep building. Force by back in for Spirit. They want to try and be competitive from the get-go. Fighting at the short side, you know you're going to find Art here. He loves to take this path thing. And so Patsy and him will clash. These two aggro players go head-to-head. -head. The balls have already locked horns. And right now it's Furious seeing red, a man down. Ooh. Ramp fight did not go how they wanted it. What's the, what's the protocol going to be now? Ah, oh, who so frequently is able to hit those timings, find those gaps up through the short side, get there very, very quickly. He's been uprooted and it's put an AK in the hands of Team Spirit. Oh, this is so nice as well. You don't even need to play many numbers on A. You're going to have that early free kill, you'd think, unless the read comes in. Considered for a second. Patsy's playing timings, but they crept up right beside him. He has no idea. Furia have the perfect way in, oh. but finally spotted. Backpack scene. In they sneak. Spirit is still sitting on this boost, still trying to get something out of it, but Safe has shown his hand and taken two with him. Patsy from the short side with another, and Safe is going deep. Yeah, Safe's pushing in, right? Not worried about short. He's going to try and clear a path ahead. There's another. Magic's through CT. Now plays his hand. What do they want to do oh about this? They're goodness. going to B. They're running at B with the bomb, but this is risky now. Magix is here. Psych. Right now, Safe wants to try and go back to A. Magix making noise. 20 seconds. This bomb's still trapped over here in middle. Oh, oh it's so close. If this kill goes the way of Spirit, it, it's all up in the air now. It's anyone's round. K Serato, low on health, low on time. 10 seconds. And the slower he is, the more time taken. He doesn't have a lot no, to play with. No, He's running it no, back to A. No he can't way. do it. This isn't a winnable round. Spirit have stolen it away on the force by.
What a play for Magix, man. Tried to get that gun, realized there's simply no time. He can't get that A-site. Caserato, not the same calculations. And those are the moments where the pressure is mounting. Maybe the call is save. But Caserato, that's not the Caserato I know. He would have gone for it. One bullet ends that round either which way, and none is fired. Spirit. That's not the one I was expecting, especially with the antics out of safe. He did everything he could, three kills, and even opened up the path to B. Little did he know he was walking the path to his own demise. Furia put together what they can. Yet again, safe saves that orb. He couldn't really get it going CT half, but he wants a T side orb at least. Wants those ways in, those opening kills. Oh, moving in towards this B side, Siren out on an island, and it is going to get sandwiched here. Luckily enough, they've got his back. They bailed him out. That looked like he could have gotten dicey for a moment. Spirit immediately reply, and they're going to keep it flawless. The attempt at turning it all back on its head for Furia, the force by back in, gets shut out dominantly by the Team Spirit squad. Yeah, it's rounds like that where if you don't get the first kill and start, you know, steamrolling, start knocking over that initial domino, you're never going to get in, right? The crossfires are so solid for Spirit. They've got rifles, whereas you're only left with Tech 9s, tapping at range. Simple round for Spirit, but Furia, they want to buy back in. This is ballsy. This is crazy, and it has to pay off. Yeah, this is wild, man. This is so Furia. They're going to try and run it over middle. Oh, dead right away, right? This MP9 responds. That first man in. Safe already cut out of the round. Dead. And now it grinds to a very awkward halt, man. Furia, they were hoping for that opener. They needed it as they try to group over in middle. They're going to get stuck out in a valley, man. They're on all sides. They're just bowing down upon them. And so there's the reply. Spirit, they mop up the mid play. The overzealous four spies now have to taper off for Furia. This is desperation. This is danger. Staring Furia right in the face, and they might crumble under the pressure. Spirit, they look stoic right now. They are calm and tranquil. And Furia, they're the ones in a very, very sticky predicament. Another eco has to be called. You can't go in three in a row. That's one step too far. A bridge that Furia won't cross. Again, middle is the call of the port of call. Fast through the Molotov. It does catch one off guard. But here's where the M4 should roar to life. Two for Chopper. A couple of guns gifted over. Magic doesn't want to let them get it, so he will not. Stop in case Serato with a cross. Art goes back, trying to milk whatever he can from this round. Yeah, one more kill would at least make it expensive. And Art knows what he likes. Still in with that swing. Magix is not missing a beat right now. Spirit. This quiet consistency is just creeping back in on that CT side of things. Furia coming in with a pause. Good timing to yeah. do so, man. This is where Art needs to try and inspire the troops. Needs to come up with some sort of idea, some way to craft a method back in to Vertigo. It's been a, a wild game, right? It's not been a, a typical match of Vertigo, not just with these relentless forces and, and pace, uh, pacey rounds up on T side, kind of what we expected from these two very similar in-game leaders in some regards. But do Furio want to break the mold? Do they want to go back into what is more standard, more safe, fall back into these defaults, try and burn out the util, run these late executes that Vertigo is so often known for? And will Spirit disrupt that? They look keen to do so, right? Even in that last round of middle, just jumping over Con, chasing down these kills while they've got them. Back to mid for Furia and the same pace we've seen all day. Yeah, not slowing down, right? Not deterred by just how much they've been out, out maneuvered, out positioned, out gunned in these rounds. You wouldn't know based on how they're playing. They're quick out into middle, but all in all, it is a little slower out of Furia here, right? Trying to play some mind games with Team Spirit. I mean, this is the team to do it against. You've got a lot of unproven players here, right? A lot of the guys where the question was, how will they perform on a major stage? Patsy and Siren, they're looking real good right now. And so you're going to try and put them to the test by slowing Ooh. it down. That there is an overstep. Yeah. Patsy falls off. No, no, Safe no. with the opener. Art is up through the short side doing what he does best. Now Dexter is that nasty surprise waiting in the ramp smoke. They're moving in. They're coming through it. They still don't know about him yet. Contact made on the short side, but it's all falling apart. Furia. 
That's the answer. There's the reply. They take a timeout and they're immediately in with a flawless round. It does feel like one of those games where whoever gets a first kill just wins a round, and this time at least clean for Furia. That audacious jump through smoke for Patsy. Maybe it's not pressure that gets to him that you know slows him down. Maybe it builds him up. Maybe it makes him overconfident. Not a move that you're going to get away with on a big stage. Furia are ready for it. And that one-two punch, a punch of art and safe that was doing everything on CT side in finding 5v4s, 5v3s, strikes again while the iron's hot. I do love it, man. Like, they take that little tack time out. That's where, you know, you come to the conclusion, okay, we tried the fast style, we tried being in their face. Let's slow it down a bit. Let's explode in the mid round. Let them, let them develop a sense of security, and then we'll tear it all apart. Siren and Patsy topping the board right now for Team Spirit, Insane. right? We were, we were wondering how would these guys cope. We were wondering how would the stage affect them. Doesn't look like it has, man. These are... These are vintage numbers out of these guys. They've been putting them up all major long and they're not looking to go quiet here in the quarterfinal. Orp out in the hands of Dexter. It's back to ramp, but it is denied for a moment. It's going to be that short smoke that gives Art a bit of an angle in, a window to find another fight. Patsy takes one, but Nades push him back, force a bit of respect out of Spirit. More stand around now, something we never had in the first half. A 5 on 5 with Spirit conceding the bomb site. They don't have the HEs or Mollies to really stop a bomb plant. Only one remaining. But this was all a bit of a ruse for Furia anyway. With drop patrolling the back line in the B site, Furia can double back. Spirit have adjusted their setup. They pull the player off of middle. It's only a double B right now. And even Siren is concerned with what lurks in mid. No one for the moment, but Yuri could come in late from that position. He's holding a flank. Spirit don't want to get aggressive. They've got to wait for the hit. Oh, it's been boosted up. They put full faith in their captain to make first contact. He'll run on in. The Molly will oh. flush this backside player out. And Art is there to find him. Still going through. Art doesn't give up. Double opener. Team Spirit, three versus four. Do they want to attempt this? They don't have utility. They need a kill to entice them. They need a kill to make them want to press forward. And Chopper is trying to deliver exactly that. On the other side of the generator, drop lies in wait. Yuri with this backstab as well that's still oh. coming into play through A. Right now, Spirit, they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. They've got to fight their way out if they want to save these guns. Dexter's going to try and thread the needle, try to get out alive in through middle. But it's just a game of consolation prizes at this point, man. He's getting out with the orb. Or Fury are putting around up on the board, tying this game all over again. 11 all. And as they often are, when Fury do get them, it's clean. They put it. 11th up with four still alive. That's money made over on this T side. Yeah, perfect round out of Art, more than or what we expect from him, right? The guy that's taking 45% of these opening fights for Fury on T halves. He does it again, just thrown up through mollies and double kills to break open the B bomb site. Fury, who have typically been very, very aggressive and persuasive in post parts to hunt down these saving players for Spirit, they'll at least allow the AWP into the next round. But that is it for Spirit. That is all they've got to play with. Dexter versus the world. How many hours do you need to win this one? Spirit call attack. But you don't get long. Even those 30 seconds slip by in a moment. T-side woes have been a real thing for Furia, man. So they're digging deep right now to put up these rounds, to turn Vertigo on its head. has been putting them hours in, but like you say, how many's needed to pull this round out of a hat, right? He's got the solo warp surrounded by pistols. And he's looking down the barrel over in mid. Now we're going to start to rotate away, right? He's going to be super mobile. He just wants to be involved from the get-go. If there's a fight going down, Dexter wants to be there, having a part in how it's played out. Yeah, we haven't seen a Dexter that's been going ham all tournament long just yet, but this would be the round for it, right? This is a guy that's, you know, even got a better survival rate than Jamin Shiro, the Kings of Save. 
Dex has been holding on to this orb for a couple now, but he needs to put it to use. Unfortunately, Furia, they're the ones grouping up on the other side of the map. It's only contact for Magics hiding at the back, given no information just yet, just trying desperately to get a spot. But this Molly, it's going to push him out of position. Furia, they've got an empty open bomb site, and there's no one here. Magics, he has to yield, he has to concede, he doesn't have a choice. And as Furia breaks through, 12 should be on the board. Yeah, this one's as good as done, right? This is just going to sail by. The moment Dexter was far removed from this exec, there wasn't a lot to play for for Team Spirit. At a bare minimum, that orb still comes out in the next round if they manage to get away with it here. Furia up in the lead. And the thing that's most worrying, these last few rounds, they've kept a lot of players still standing. It's going to be a real grind for Spirit to build back into this one. And you're hoping it can all start with this AWP. You're hoping these saves are worth it. Dexter, you're about to get pressured, Ooh, about to get double swung. It. It's a tag, he does manage to get out of there. How badly do they want to take this AWP away? How badly do they want it? They're going to show him respect, they're going to let the AWP get out. But still, Furia up in the lead now. Yeah, it's one thing to start strong, and Spirit have done that on both halves of this map already, right? They were 7-3 at the beginning of their T-side. After winning the force, they went up 4-1 in the second half, but none of that's going to matter if Fury are the ones to close. It's not who can start, it's who can finish. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So Spirit do need to dig deep at this point in the map. Another buy round, a couple of Ecos predicated by it, but this is the time to strike for Spirit. Hello, Art. Art's doing what he does best, man. Fast up the short side. He might they, don't know. they don't know about him still. Patsy will check for it. And Dexter, oh, oh, trying his best to trade that out. It's safe. Running up the short side, filling Art's boots. And he will get filled with lead. Chopper flies in, saves the day. A B plays all that's left for Furia here. Trying to take the site, trying to overwhelm it. Magix is at least in a spot to push him back. But the bomb is all the way at T-Bridge. They've got to run back for that. It's a big old journey right now. Drop. Goes to go grab it. Kay Serato deep inside of the site. Left all alone here. Spirit is so hesitant. They heard that run back, but they didn't fall for it. They didn't think this was some kind of fake out. They know that this is the true intention, but Kay Serato is the question. Magic drops in, doesn't know. Kay Serato with one, but it's Siren to trade. And now it's all on drop. 1v2. Stuck on the site, nowhere to move, nowhere to hide. They're running him down here to trade, and Spir uh, Siren puts it up alone. We've been talking a lot of Patsy, but Siren snuck up into the forefront, into the top of the team, second in the server to save. And no better time to come alive on that B bomb site. Spirit finally break the streak. Yeah, awesome to see these ex-Spirit Academy players, man, holding the line and still offering up these same big performances we had throughout every single stage now in front of the crowd, man. If anything, they're looking fired up. No one wants the lead to escape them. No one wants the lead to elude them. This has been so back and forth. Yeah, trading game. I mean, Fury got a taste of their own medicine that last round with the double up on either which way on the A site. Chopper swinging in as the third man. Safe wasn't ready for it. Art wants to run it back, though. He wants to run it all right. Patsy will meet him right there with the MP9. Quick trades come through, and again, they favor Spirit. Will that stay oh! the same? Dexter does it through the wall, and 4v2, Fury a fall. And you've seen this one before, Drop and Kesarato, the only players left again, the two that lean towards B, now have to try and craft the 2v4. That bomb is once again all the way in the back line. Furia, even if they get this room yeah. at B, they've still got to go back and grab that bomb. Kesarato fighting tooth and nail to regain some element of control here, but he's cut down. Chopper moves in to lock that one in for Team Spirit. And I've got to say, this clash of Art and Patsy <laughs> down on the short side, it's been a sight to behold. Yeah, I've never seen anyone challenge him quite like it, right? And at a time like this, in quarterfinals of a major, the first major for Patsy, and not just him, four of his team. That's the thing that's so wild, right? Art's been doing this for, for as long as Vertigo has been in the pool, for as long as Fury has played it. He's been keen on taking these short side spawns and trying to run amok. And right now, Patsy yeah. is besting him in that head-to-head. -head. He 
easier said than done, without a doubt. Going to be churned up though, it's the need to do it, not just the spray, that certainly helps. Dexter, he's going to repeat absolute madness down on the ramp. That smoke gives him such a nice way up yellow, he doesn't care, just peeks in deep, takes another pick, safes out of the round, and there's more for Furio. Chopper's trying to fight, that does leave him really untradeable, just out all alone. No one able to help him there, he needed to go one for one. This is a perfect round for Fury, this is a round they have to win right now, with money on the line for their team as well. They finally got an advantage, but Spirit are all here. Three in the right place, it's going to be a brawl and Spirit are re-aggressing, they want to fight for top ramp, oh. they want to get involved, oh. as that Saiyan's coming in, Siren with the mow down, Oh, left in this wow. all alone and Dexter's going to silence him. They meet them at the top of ramp and they live to tell the tale. Staring Fury in the face and not falling under the pressure. That's unbelievable. Three on four, re aggro for Siren. He triples up, Harry. How the hell did Fury let him get away with that? Nades out, crossing with flashes, expecting a modicum of respect. They get none of it. And it's Fury calling a third timeout, feeling the burn right now. Spirit are on the edge of success. 14 in their pocket. And with Ancient coming up next, all the makings to what could be a 2-0, no matter how good that map can be for Furia, I sense something's changing. Look, man, Furia went against the grain with the style of Counter-Strike they play. And for the longest time, it was dubbed as just a style that only they could replicate, right? This hyper-aggressive, really unique look. And in a battle of aggro, it's like fighting a reflection right now for Art, man. And Spirit are the ones coming out ahead. Yeah, the same the mirror adds 10 pounds. Well, they get pounded all right. Yuri wants to make do with this A site. Finally puts Patsy to bed. It's a big opener, right? You've dealt with the aggro player. Chopper getting flashed out, wants to just escape, doesn't Ooh. want to hang around. Oh, yeah. he's going back in, he's trying oh. to double dip. Chopper brings it back to a four on four. Furia this time, they don't want to get caught with their pants down. They are very, very cognizant of getting re-peaked here. Everyone still just holding, waiting, hoping that Spirit feeds them on the ramp side. It's going to start to taper off. Spirit will show them some respect as now Furia try to move in. Hang on a moment. Surely not again. Siren up at the front. He's going to try and fight them around. We've seen this one before. It's happened before our very eyes. This time, he bows out without a kill to his name. Good damage, though. And now Dex is just poised, right? Furia expecting dry fight to get some fours. It's a big orb on the other side. Smokes it down. Chopper goes up and over. And Siren helps out with two of his own. How does this guy put a multi-kill after multi-kill on the A site? Furia just can't catch a break. Oh, Yuri with the first. He's going to need to ace this in the 1v3. He's got it down to a 1v2. The siren stops singing its song, stopped tempting him in, and now he's given a bit of room to maneuver Yuri. They're going to try and swing him, and Chopper out through CT. Nails the shot, nails the closer. Map point now for Team Spirit. And we said Chopper's not a fragger, but this guy started to step up in the most important rounds now at the end for Spirit. Just not scared of taking these deep A fights, even though he's been challenged, he's been punished for it before. This is this guy's fourth major, but he never made it out of groups, Harry. The Swiss system never gave him that success, but 3-0 in the legend stage, Chopper leads Spirit all the way to the playoffs, and maybe more. Fury really think they found an opening, they think they found a way in with this ramp control. This time they're going to try and couple it up with a bit of a mid play. Too strong here. Siren. Oh, there's the first. And the second wrestles with the A1S. And he gets out in a five on three. Spirit, this is their moment. This is their chance to close this map. Dexter, oh, that Molly. No. That Molly is oh. going to force a peek. Fury at the head in their hands. The bulk of the team watching from beyond the grave, just as powerless as you or me and how this round plays out. It is all on art and safe. They try to fight together, they try to go as a team, they try to make it happen as two, but as they lean into middle spirit, they will have bodies here, they will have players in position. To start to hold the line, the info now gained. Molly out for Chopper just to slow them down. Doesn't want to let them get pacey. Doesn't want to let them get this control. They are sandwiched in CT, out on an island. Spirit looking to close it in style with a flawless last. Ah, oh, 
Okay, okay, playing the trigger discipline. This is only oh! one. Chop and turn. Oh, follows up with a double. But the trade is there, and Spirit locked Vertigo in. These kindred spirits step up. They stare danger. They stare fury in the face, but they don't back down. They step up to the plate. Matt pick of their opponent locked in for Spirit and Ancient to follow. This could be a 2-0 upset on the stage for the first major for this squad. Yeah, man, I mean, dude, it's so convincing. Like, Siren topping the charts, 27 and 18. Guy, over 180 R. We're so 